Hey, Dobbs. Hey, how are you doing? How are you doing today? Good, yourself? Not too bad. Pretty bad weather having out there today. Yep. You like the coffee? Sure. Sounds good to me. Okay, take it. Uh, I'll take it black. Just freshly made. Thank you, Dr. Phillips. You like it black too, I see. Yep. Thanks a lot. We both know why we're here. We're here to discuss John P. Turner, 1979 assault with a deadly weapon. 1982, the murder of his father and one young man. Today's date is August 11th, 1991. He has served nine years. Prisoner's request for parole. What do you think? I think he's still dangerous. I have worked on this case back in 1986. I have found no change in him at all. It would be a big mistake to let him out of here. What do you think, Dr. Phelps? You can't possibly let a cold-blood murderer like that back out in the streets after the, the horrendous crime that he's just committed nine years ago. There's no way that he should be out on the streets. Dr. Jake, I have to disagree. He has changed a lot since then. I've been his doctor for nine years now. I strongly believe what has happened was an injustice on his part. John has shown a positive recovery from his last arrest in 1986. I don't know. If we do let him back out, it could start all over again. Do you want to see some psych, psycho sick maniac out in the streets killing again? What kind of guy goes out and stabs his father in the head? That's a very horrendous crime. He should be put in jail for the rest of his life for that. It's a very bad, sick crime. There's no need for it. Doctor, how can you possibly let him out on the streets again after the murders? If we put him on the work program offered here in Milford, it might work out. I've seen a good come out from this program. Look, all we can do is try it. John Turner is rotten to the core. He should be locked up up to Keith in a way. Remember what happened to him in 87? The prisoner they found. Came in the boiler room, dead. I know that John did that. There's no doubt about it. The proof is there that he killed the man. What else do you want? There's proof and evidence that he has killed these, murdered these people. Now what else do you want? It's a little ridiculous when you think he's ready to go out in the streets. Even if it's a decade later, you screwed up a decade ago. What makes you think that he's better now? He's going to act any way he can to get out of jail. And he's going to act like he's perfectly fine, even if he's not. And there's no way that he should be out, Dr. Uh, Phillips. No way. Oh, come on. The murder in the boiler room was all hearsay. It's never been proven John had anything to do with that. John deserves another chance. He has spent nine years in jail for the crime he has committed. I'm not going to go into details on how that prisoner was killed, Dr. Phillips. It's a bit too gruesome for you. If you let this animal back out on the streets, it will be your back against the wall, not mine. Hope you understand that, Dr. Phillips. This maniac goes out and murders again. It's going to be your back on your back, not mine. First of all, all this information in the jail cells is all hearsay. We have on record he confesses to self-defense in 1982. I don't give a shit, Phillips, what you do. I'm warning you, this man is dangerous. I warned you about him, and you knew that in the beginning. I'm warning you. You're a crazy man, Dr. Jake. Haven't you already done that? You murdered two boys. That by the names of Tommy Jones and Nick Breeze. That was a pretty bad thing to do. Even if you're raging anger. Why would you let your raging anger take over your brain and do such a senseless murder? Especially the two young boys. Why? What gave you the right to take someone else's life? You had no right to do that whatsoever. As mad and as raging as, as mad as you might be at me right now, it's true. Why would you do such senseless murders? Even if they did something bad to you, you let the law take care of it. You take counseling. There's no way. No way you should have let that happen. No way. No way.
There's still more! I'll have my revenge, then you'll see! John, I really think we should try the shock treatment. It can help you. What kind of raging maniac would murder people and then not want people to try to at least help him? Get back into society. What kind of bullshit is this, John? We're trying to help you here at this hospital. And all you do is these raging fantasies that you want to go out and, and hurt other people. Why? I don't seem to understand it. All I want to do is try to help you. Why can't you agree with me? Come here, you bastard! Oh, you idiot! I don't want to do with you! Get out of here! Now I hear the locks, you maniac! Get the fuck out! What the hell's wrong with you? Yo, bastards are all dying. 